Well, this is my Dutch bucket setup, according to what I've watched on YouTube. It's only my demo one. Uh, what more or less got three sort of Dutch buckets, but they're my take on it. They're 20 litre drums. So, what do I do here? I've got a reserve up here, it works by gravity. It comes down through here to this white electrical conduit pipe and just has a drip on there just drilled a small hole in the pipe and then I put some of this whipper snipper cord just a little piece of it and it drips down into the bucket next to the roots and it just works by the water surface tension and it runs along that little strip and goes into the drum and then it drips through the um, perlite down through that into the taps and then it just runs along another bit of electrical conduit into my reservoir I've just got all the cardboard on here because the heat and also the light so to stop the algae because I had a lot of troubles when I first set this up three weeks ago with the water being very hot because we're in a subtropical climate here and it's still 30 degrees and about 20 degrees at night so it's still quite warm for uh, the beginning of autumn here and what I've got is a thousand litre per hour um, pond pump in here I'll just open this up and just show you just another 20 litre drum and I'll just cut a hole in the top here and the pipe is goes down there into the pump and that's pumped up about every two hours back up to this top drum which is here, I'll just take this top off and it's just pumped up into here and this fills up this in about two minutes and then I get about an hour run out of that drum and it takes about an hour to run through all through the perlite and back down to the reservoir and um, that's probably about it really this was started with just seedlings they're only just your normal six pack seedlings you get from the shop you know they're only about this big or so when I put them in and this is three weeks of growth and I'm using my own uh, fertilizer I've sort of made up from hydroponic fertilizer and some Epsom salts the usual stuff what MHP Gardener says and also Brock Hughes I've been watching him too he's pretty good and uh, just thought I'd give him a go they inspired me to do this so I'm giving it a go so that's three weeks from the seedlings and hopefully um, I'll show you as it goes on hopefully maybe once a month or something like that until we get up I'm going to hang them up here just onto my uh, roof just put a few screws up there and uh, put some strings down I've got some tomato clips and um, let them grow up from there this is just a northerly facing wall here so just keep a bit of warmth as we get into winter so they get plenty of warmth it's a little bit hot at the moment but later on it should get a bit cooler but we are in subtropical so it's not cold as what you see in america or anything like that which you normally see on a lot of these shows i'm also going to have another go up this way i usually grow them in the soil but um at the moment i've got some um, sorghum growing here that's four weeks old from when i put the seed in so it does grow quite quickly and I grow, grow this up to about three or four feet then chop it down with the motor mower and then let it grow up a little bit more then turn it in just getting it ready for growing some tomatoes I've got some stakes here about eight foot high and I hang the str uh, strings down from there the tomato clips on grow them there I have grown them a couple times but I've had to let the soil have a rest too many uh, bugs in the soil too many nematodes so uh, yes, that's the project for about probably four or five months. So we growing tomatoes in there. I might even try some a row of Dutch buckets up against some soil. All right, so that's about it for me. And once again, thanks to uh, MHP Gardener and Brock Hughes. Been watching a lot of the YouTubes. If anyone else wants to learn something about, they're the best people to watch on YouTube and all the people they've recommend on there have watched their videos i've seen nearly all of them i think i can see and um thanks very much everyone see ya